This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. My guest today is not somebody you see very often on your TV screens. But behind the scene, or rather behind the screens, he's the master puppeteer of Indian politics. And he's back in action the moment there's an election, there's a hung parliament, there's instability. That's the kind of playground you operate in. Comrade Harkishan Singh Sujit, General Secretary of the CPM, and really the great veteran of Indian politics. Sujit Ji, how nice to have you on Walk the Talk. Thank you very much. I know uh, you've been struggling with some bad health lately. Uh, yes, yes, some trouble. It's all right now. But, you know, uh, you're doing very well for the age of 88, isn't it? And that is, I, I hope so. I, I feel to live some 10 more years. No, living is one thing, but active to, be, life. to be fully active. That is not the living. Absolutely. That is not the living. You retire. I'm active politics I'm talking about. And you started, I believe, in the 1930, is it? 31. 31. 31, I was in prison. Started in 30. 31, you were in prison? Yes. You started politics in 1930, yes. when yes. you were yes. 15. Or so. Yes. And what did you go to prison for at that point? Because Bhagat Singh's martyrdom had taken place. Right. On that day, governor had to come in Osharpur. I was studying in Jalandhar. I went there to see what is going to happen. Congress had decided that we will boycott and we will demonstrate against the governor and all that. When I read there, nothing is there in the Congress office. Right. I wanted to see what is happening. I was interested in politics because I used to hear the speeches of Mota Singh, Master right. Mota Singh, very prudent speaker. You see, you and must have known. Communist leader. He was not a communist at that time. But he Mota became Singh was a famous Babrakali leader. Right. Leader of the Babrakalis, right. that uh, group, which has sacrificed a lot for the country's freedom. So when it was, I saw there was a person sitting there, what has happened? The government has decided to shoot the person who goes there to hang the flag. And so only were there by that. If you have the courage, you can do it. What can you do when army is brought? I say, I'll, you give me. I took the challenge, I took the flag, and then went to the courts in Usharpur and hoisted the flag. At that time, the army men were talking with each other. They had come to know the Congress has dropped the idea. So I, when I hoisted the flag, immediately two shots were there. No, no shot touched me. Bakhle was the deputy commissioner collector, I remember now, right. at that time, one Maharashtra. Right. Normally, they were Englishmen. But then he came and saw a small boy of 15 years. What is this? Then he stopped firing, stopped. Then I was tried. He said, you are being sent for one year's prison. I said, only one year? Then he said, no, no, then four years. Then he said, only four years? Mm. Then he said, there's nothing more than in, in this law. He sent me, I was sent from there, Husharpur prison. And I believe since then you've served 10 years in jail on not on various occasions. Various occasions, 10 years I had remained in jail actually. Right. But uh, it, punishment be more, maybe. And, but some, and some years underground as well. Five years underground. There is a young life which I spent for the cause of country's freedom at that time. And you were more or less a congressman at that time. I was in the Congress. I was in the Socialist Party. I was. I came in the Communist Party. Well, so that's what people say about you also now. That for four or five years you go underground, yes. and the election comes, and Mr. Sujit is back in action, overground. You know, as I said, master puppeteer, pulling strings. I would say, you, Kingmaker. See, you, you can say anything. No doubt, I never have the ambition to take the top job. Right. Never. never. Even now, I don't have any ambition to take the top job. When the party has given me the top job in the country, that, of course, I am grateful to them. But the ambition is always there to decide who takes the top job. Not. I would not say that, to decide about that, but to play some role in that. Right. Who is there? So that the fate of the country depends on that. Right. But Sujiti, uh, last time something went wrong. You know, uh, last time you, you installed not one but two governments in power. And both lasted for short periods, Gauda and Gujral. It, it seemed that somehow you failed in your attempt 
and I what you were trying to do? I would not say I failed in the attempts because the tactics of the Congress party became different. First, they had decided to support the government from outside right. when Narasimha was there right. and subsequently when later on things changed, they wanted to know, first they had a talk with me, can we have a united government? Oh, they, they wanted to join the government? Yes, also? yes, they wanted to join the government. I, I can cite the examples who talked to me and all that. They were sent by the Congress to, when this breaking but point came, breaking point came, then and there were three persons who came to talk on the how this can be avoided. Then in that talk, they mooted the idea, is it not possible to have a joint government? Sir, which three were these? Huh? Which three were these? Kon -kon aay the? Three were they were, uh, I will, I let you know, let me remember the names. Right. They were closer to, in those days, the Prime Minister. Right. Yes. Prime Minister means? Narsimha Rao or Gauda? No, Gauda was not the Prime Minister. Right. I am talking about the Congress Prime Minister. The Congress Prime Minister. They were closer that, to that. That was Narsimha Rao. Con Congress Prime Minister at that Narsimha time. Rao. Yes. Right. Uh, and then they decided not to join. No, they, they decided not. Then they decided to create issues. Right. How they can separate. How the government can go. That was the point at the earlier point. That right. is not the that point which you are referring to. Right. It is earlier it had happened. Lekin, right. uh, when, <coughs> you know, when one government had fallen, Gauda government had fallen because of uh, Kesri's insecurities, and then I believe your no. choice for Prime Minister was Mulayam Singh Yadav. That is true, because there you see then, in fact, in reality, according to me, Congress itself wanted again to share the power. Right. We were not for that. So, in that case, they had brought this idea that how this can work and all this thing is concerned. Out of that, this thing came, no, we cannot work together. That was the position. Then the issue of uh, this uh, new leadership New came. leadership came in. Yes. And then Mr. Gujral got elected, but I believe the choice was Mulayam. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Nobody knew name of Mulayam was not there because then it was decided democratically. Nobody, no, no, no. The name of Gujral was not there. I tell you, no. Three names came. Right. In that, uh, toward, it was decided that let us take a decision by majority. Right. Whosoever gets the majority, he will be the Prime Minister. Right. In the, that vote, 120 votes or more were for Mulayam Singh. Right. 20 votes for far that uh, Mopanar. Mopanar. Right. And some uh, less vote, 10, 15 for some, somebody else. Right. So these are the division of the votes. Right. So um, our uh, Madhya uh, Madh Pradesh fellow, a friend, right. who was a convener, he came to me dead dead the night, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and he said this is the result. Right. I said, then announce, right. no problem. Right. If this is the result, people have chosen Mulayam so, Singh. So Mulayam was to be the Prime Minister. Make announcement about right. that. I had to go to Moscow to attend the conference. That same night? Same night. Right. So I left at 4 o'clock. Right. And I left with the decision has been taken. Right. When I went there, reached there, then somebody from the embassy is there, immediately you are wanted, and they right. want to talk to you. Right. Then they are meeting in the house of our comrade uh, right and he is here itself in delhi delhi right. they are meeting there and then discussions are on and in those discussions is being discussed that who should be the prime minister they came to the conclusion out of all that this should not be this should not be this should be then it came that he should be so in terms of the numbers and yes. in terms of the decision that you had that help take, Mulayam was to be the Prime Minister. He should have been the Prime Minister. And, and something robbed Mulayam of what was his rightful Prime Ministership at that time. At that time, yes. Right. And who did that, sir? Who, who, who organized that? Somebody must have worked behind the scenes when you were away. You see, what happened was what I was told. That I was told why you have taken this decision, why have you done, I was contacting from there itself, why right. this has happened. Right. Then I was told, when he went back, then our Bihar leader, Lalu, Lalu Prashad, right. and uh, this uh, one fellow who is now in the, with the government side. Um, who, Ram Vilas Paswan? Not Ram Vilas Paswan. Sharad Yadav? Sharad Yadav. Right. Both were standing there. Right. In no case we will accept him. 
They both said under, under no circumstances. They, they, they said, I'm saying, yeah. I was told. Right. I was not here. I right. was told when they both objected, then deadlock was there. Right. I said, what deadlock? Decision was taken by majority. Right. They could not answer. Right. Anyway, then when talks when And Mr. Naidu, Chandrababu Naidu, what was his view on Mulayam? Naidu was, Naidu, Naidu told me, view which if real thing was, Naidu should have announced. Right. Majority says this. Right. No business of his person. Naidu was the convener. He should have announced. He was the convener. It is he who came to me and I went with satisfaction. Now the matter is over. He has been elected. And, and he delayed the announcement. He delayed the announcement and he went there and sent and then they met Jyoti right. Basu's house here. So they waited for you to leave. Then, then No, no. Leave means they wanted to contact me to get my approval. Right. They wanted to contact me by my approval. I have reached there and as soon as I reached their airport, I was told you are wanted immediately right. and there so then... Sir, uh, is it your view that if Mulayam had got the Prime Ministership then, mm. which was his due because he had the votes, he had, he had a vast majority with him, mm. then it would have been a more stable government than Mr. Gujral ran? It was naturally. Naturally, because this is the result of the consensus by all. Right. Other thing was how to meet this emergency. Right. We have to tell somebody to be there. Right. So in that case, who should be there? Then Gujral, I said, all right. Then I talked to Gujral. Right. I said, there's a big responsibility. So it was a lottery for Mr. Gujral? <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever you may say, I would not say that lottery. <laughs> because everybody feels, right. he feels he deserved it. Right. 